Welcome to another episode of The Embedded, an ongoing exploration of the space between the glass and the technology. In this episode, we speak to Michael Galpin, Android engineer at Bump Technologies. Michael talks about the current and potential uses of the Bump mobile app, which allows users to share data by physically knocking their phones together. We discuss applications of their shared API and why the Bump team is focused on connecting virtual devices with the physical world through a layer of personalization. So Michael, thank you for joining us. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. Let's start by talking a little bit about Bump. Bump got started about three years ago. Um, our founders were in business school together. And first day of uh, business school, of course, everybody was handing out their business cards. Mm -hmm. um, and they had the realization, no, there should be a better way to do this, right? And we have these phones that have all this information about us already in the phone. There should be some way to use the phone to interact with other people to share their information. Sort of a virtual business card. Now it's very much pictures and it tends to be a lot of young people. Um, our peak, uh, peak usage is Friday and Saturday nights. Mm. People are out with their friends, you know, taking pictures and they use Bump a lot to share them. Wow, very cool. So we started off as an iPhone application. As things went well, we looked at different uh, other platforms such as uh, Android and Blackberry and Windows. Uh, but the one that seemed to be uh, both very capable and it seemed to get a lot of adoption by users was Android. So we also have an Android application and that's what I work on at Bump at our Android app. Right now it's kind of person to person. Um, it's, a, it's a physical interaction, you bump things uh, together. Um, but we're also uh, looking at these uh, devices we call Bump Cubes, mm -hmm. um, which if you go on our website, is sort of a, in a labs experimental kind of thing right now. Right. Um, and they're basically you know, small cubes that you could be put on a, on a table or something, and you can use your smartphone to bump the cube. Mm -hmm. We partnered with a lot of local businesses to try out different ideas mm -hmm. with the Bump Cubes. We had a, a coffee shop in Palo Alto where you'd bump it and you get sort of a virtual punch card cool. on your phone. Mm -hmm. And then after, after you punched it five times or bumped it five times, you get a free coffee. Nice. Um, we had um, another place, a uh, frozen yogurt place in Mountain View where you would bump and you get a coupon and then you could bump with somebody else and give them the coupon. You know, it's all about you know, using technology to interact with the physical world. Uh, we don't want to limit you in sharing, right? So you want, we, we say, okay, you've, you've connected with this person, you can share with them all you want. Right. So um, you can keep bumping, of course, that's, yeah. that's always fun. Right. Um, but if you, know, you happen to be somewhere else and you get some photo, and hey, I, wanna, I wish I could share this photo with my friend, I'm not near him, you can still use Bump to do it. When we talk about uh, the embedded layer, which is you know, the, the layer in between the hardware and the, and the glass that personalizes your experience, with your devices and your connection to the cloud, this is hyper personalized sharing. You know, it's I, I like that there's that initial physical connection. You know, that I've chosen to give this specific thing to you, but then that connection lasts with me. Let's let's talk about the competition, for example. Sure. Your competition isn't so much other applications as services like. Texting. You can do a lot of things with Bump that you could do with something like SMS. We don't try to compete with them directly. We don't try to be like the world's greatest chat app. Right. You know, we think that the, the physical interaction is still what, what sets us apart. We actually have an FAQ on our site and we do, we do state that we use the accelerometer to detect a bump, like sort of the sudden movement of your hand. Mm -hmm. um, and then we use location to figure out like, okay, uh, you know, these two people, they bumped uh, from about the same place, mm -hmm. right? And at about the same time. We feel pretty good that we've got something. You've got the secret sauce. It's, it's pretty clever and it's, it's, it's not, not easy to replicate. Right, right. So. so where does it go in the future? We want Bump to be the way you interact with the physical world. Right. It brings sort of the virtual world to the physical world. Yeah. You know, so um, the cubes is one of those things. Yeah. You know, um, we're gonna keep trying new ideas. We have mm -hmm. some folks right now are hard at work about thinking about really clever things we, mm -hmm. we, we could do around those. Mm -hmm. um, one of our biggest challenges around the cubes has been that we have so many ideas right. around things we could do with them. It's hard to pick like, you know, pick one or two, you know, we, we are a startup, so we, we, yeah. can't, we can't pursue every idea out there, of course. Right. Right. And we've also been looking at how we could use sort of bumping technology in other apps as well. Mm -hmm. We provide an API that's free for other developers to use. I think there's about 140 apps out there currently that mm -hmm. use our API. Wow. Um, we've seen some. We've seen it get more popular with uh, games recently. Mm -hmm. You know, so you can kind of bump to play somebody in a game as a way to, you know, sort of initiate that. We've been fortunate to have an app that 
um, has kind of a magical experience. You know, you, you bump phones and there it is. It, it figures out like who you bumped with. I think that's key. I think whoever whoever uh, creates magical experiences are going to win. What about payment? Is that something that uh, you're investigating, trying out? That's one of the uses of the, of the bump cube that we have. Um, it's a it's a tough space. Yeah. Um, there's obviously a lot of other companies that are interested in payment, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, whatever you do, uh, it has to be better than what's out there currently, which are credit cards. Right. There's a lot of different ways you can use a cell phone to pay for things, but is it ever going to be that much easier than using credit cards? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the standard we hold ourselves to. I and mean, people don't want to use technology just for the sake of using technology. Mm -hmm. It's got to actually make their life better. Right, right. And, and you're traveling around doing speaking engagements, telling people about how you can use the Bump API and things like that. We've had a lot of companies use it very successfully and be really happy with it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's something we're looking at also in the future towards promoting it a bit more right. and letting people know more about it because uh, we saw a, a blog post written by a developer basically trying to figure out how to do something just like Bump. Mm. Well, he should just use our API, and then he doesn't have to reinvent yeah. right. this whole thing. Yeah. Um, so we realize that that that's um, that could be really valuable for a lot of other apps out there. You know, they shouldn't have to try to figure out all the stuff we figured out, because it's it's not easy. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we are trying to to do a little better job of letting people know about the API. Mm -hmm. Right now, there's kind of just a link on our website. You go to bu.mp, and there's a link for API. But right. if you don't know it's there, it might be kind of hard to find. <laughs> right, 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 right. Cool. Um, and you wrote a book. So I've been uh, working in Android for a couple years. And I wrote a book called Android in Practice, advanced Android book for professional developers, published about a month ago. Well, I hope that goes amazingly. Thank you. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you for joining us. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, it's been great. So that's it for uh, another episode of The Embedded. Join the conversation at weareembedded.com.